good evening everyone so today i will be showing you guys how i make my vegetable soup my delicious vegetable soup now my my meat is cooking so guys let's go there guys so this is our boiling meat i have here my fresh baby my fresh thyme and my fresh curry so as you guys know i always like to cook my meat with my uh, pepper and onions so i really love the taste of it inside my meat so guys we are going to leave this to cook while i go to the vegetable and slice the vegetables Oh yeah, so guys, our meat has been cooking for like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes now. So, I don't like my meat to cook, so I'm going to remove it from the fire. I like biting my meat so hard. So, I'm going to remove it from the fire now. And then, parboil my, my spinach. So guys, Let's go there. So, guys, this is the uh, spinach uh, leaf that I'm going to be using. I love this uh, type of spinach. Did you see how it is? I love this uh, this uh, little type of spinach. This. Uh, so I've tried I've tried many other ones. I don't like them. Some the rope is too much. Some I don't like the taste. So this is the type I enjoyed using for my soup. So I got this in the supermarket, uh, Conan, Conan supermarket. So you can actually get this type there. Just check the leaf in case you want to use fresh one also. This one is the frozen one. You can also use the fresh one if you like. So for this pack like this, I'm going to be using a uh, uh, seven pack for my soup. So I cook my soup very many. I don't cook little soup. So I will cook and store it in the refrigerator so it's it's good that way you can preserve your your food that way so that's how i make my soup and my stew i cook plenty then i store it for a very long time so this pack is going to last me for like a month or a month plus so that is how i make my soup and my stew so guys now now that i'm finished cutting the spinach now so it's on fire now i'm going to add plenty water to cover it to this level then i will leave it to cook oh no not to cook sorry to pad boil not to cook okay so guys you see i've add my water now so i'm going to leave it to pad boil so this is how i pad boil my my spinach though some people do uh, like the one they will just heat water and pour the water on it like that but as for me i don't like it that way you know so so guys sorry sorry for that so they will add water hot water then leave it for some minutes then later excuse the the uh, spinach or the vegetable out of it so i don't like it that way so this is how my hus my husband like it you know not everybody that have the same set of stomach so this is how we do it there was a time i tried it like that hmm. we almost slept in the toilet so guys so this is how 
I make my own. This is how I pad boil my own. Though you can try it to if you like it that way. Oh. So this is how I make my. I'm going to leave it now to pad boil. Then I will see that the water. So guys, our spinach now is nicely and beautifully pad boiled already. So guys, right now I'm going to remove it from the stove and I'm going to see that the water so we can make our delicious stew. So guys, do not mind my, my big pot to this is what I use to cook my plenty food. So now I'm going to add my vegetable oil. I think this is okay. So you let it heat for a while. So guys, our oil has been heating for a while now. So we are going to, to throw in our onion. So guys, when you start perceiving the aroma of the onion, so you cannot add your tomatoes, you see? So guys, do you see my tomatoes is not that smooth? That's low. It's just chopped, I chopped tomatoes. So we leave this to cook for a while. So guys, our our stew has been cooking for a while now. So I'm going to throw in our dried fish. Mm. Dried fish and some free fish. I really do not mention my crayfish because I love fresh fish in my soup, mostly my soup. So we are going to leave it now to cook for like five to ten minutes. Okay. So guys, our seal is almost dried now. So it's time to add our meat. So guys, now that I've finished adding my my meat and my meat water, so it's time for you to test to see if your salt and mangi is okay for the mm, stew so now I'm going to add a little bit of salt and also I'm going to add my fish now add my fish now so you leave it for some minutes to okay cover it and leave it for some minutes to so guys I'm going to be adding my uh, spinach now little by little and then I will stir okay we are almost done with our vegetable soup. So guys, this uh, soup, you can actually use it to eat your rice, your swallow. And not only that, you can actually use it for your breakfast. Just take it, use your spoon 
and eat it like that. So it's good for our health. This is vegetable. That is why we call it vegetable. Okay. So guys, let's add our spinach now. And still, we are almost done. Okay. So guys, I finished adding the vegetable now. Now our spinach soup is almost ready. So guys, don't remember to taste after adding the spinach, okay? Because you need to know if the taste of the soup is okay. As for me, this is perfect, okay? You can see, I don't like it too watery. I don't like it too thick. This is how I love my spinach. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to turn off the stove. I don't want it to be too cooked. So the vegetable will not change color. Because I've already parboiled it. You see, everything is set. So yummy. Mm. So guys, this is how I make my spinach soup. Now I'm going after the soup must have cooled down i'll place it in my small containers and then put it in my freezer so guys this is how i make my spinach okay thank you guys for watching see you in my next video bye my yummy spinach soup